good morning so we will continue with the discussion on claims okay so here there will be some recommendations are given recommendations are listed to avoid the claim so many recommendations are there so here what is there in the signing of the contract clear cut <clears throat> rights and responsibility of all the parties have to be listed very carefully that is the first recommendation second is for making the design give sufficient time so okay designer should be given sufficient time to make the proper drawings and designs okay now here what is the third point careful preparation of the contract document again it is going to help the disputes avoid the disputes okay contractor should have signed the variation order before starting doing any change in work okay what is this what do you mean by this one as the execution is continuous suddenly at the middle uh, some somewhere client has told okay you can change this work okay he has changed the drawing or he has changed the quantity or he has changed something specification client and contractor both should sign on that document and this document for the change in something that is called as a change order it's called as a change order are you getting this what do you mean by change order already agreed conditions were there no for specification and all if something is changed in that and both parties will sign so that is called as a, both parties have to sign that change order or variation order okay that has to be done okay now provide a mechanism provide a mechanism for processing and evaluating the change order if anything is there change is there no both party have to agree the rates first agree the rate for changing this one so for that agreeing the rate there should be a proper mechanism means what okay today i will change this one tomorrow you come for the rate analysis it should not be like that okay proper mechanism so rate has to be evaluated from similar materials labors etc everything should be a proper mechanism there should be a proper mechanism okay so for a contractor should provide should take care of his work superiority by getting skilled labor and good management technique this is a common thing okay okay everyone will uh, go, <coughs> apply for good management techniques only okay now here these are the some additional points you can just refer those things okay so many things are there here one more point is there you, uh, <coughs> use of software like msp prime movera bar charts all these are what planning software so no? these should be implemented implemented in the project okay to avoid what claims and all develop mutual problem solving attitudes okay one should uh, res give respect for the other parties then only claims will be settled okay very very important what is this one to avoid claim or to avoid in settlement you should go for proper maintaining of job records okay whatever the work is going on no regular additional variation anything there should be a proper maintenance of records okay such as diary sheets time sheets photographs labor reports okay plantation site everything whether everything has to be maintained then only you can avoid the problems in claims you can avoid the problems in claim now very very important what is the effect is suddenly if there is a change whatever may be the reason if there is a claim from one party to another party what should be the effect what can be the effect major effect is one thing someone will go for additional cost that project may lead to additional cost how contractor may go for claim for additional money or client may go for additional money that is the cost part second part is time means what obviously time will be changed completion time or handing over time maintenance time whatever may be the time cost and time may be increased or decreased this is the major effect of time you understand one is cost another is time third is the reputation of the parties reputation and relationship reputation relationship and image in the public image in the public so this these three things are the major effect of claims okay once the reputation has gone next time no contractor will come for that client or no client is going to award the con contractor okay so like that these things will happen so these three things only have written here there may be escalation in cost obviously you know escalation means what increase in the cost so again claims will affect the cash flow 
what is happening here client is not making the payment contractor has gone for the claim so no money so obviously contractors cash flow will be affected okay this is the thing problem third is reduction in finance cost obviously he has allotted 100 crores for this project suddenly some 10 crores have gone for claim settling so obviously finance so within 90 crores only he has to complete the job no so that is the reduction in finance cost abandonment of the project that means at the total project will not get completed this is the major problem of the claim if not settled abandonment of the project or non-completion of the project both way it is possible okay these are some of the effects very important from your exam point of view now everything is there okay how to administer the claims means what what is the procedure in general you can tell that how to start with the claim process how to start with the claim process something has happened so you are having the problem or you are you have occurred the damage so how to get the remedy that is called as administration contractor has to do the administrator for his claims client has to do his administration for his claims so okay so procedure of the claim procedure what do you mean by procedure detailed step by step how to go now first is intent of claim intent of claim means what why you are claiming whether you have you, you have suffered a damage for money or whether you have suffered a damage for time so what is your intention okay proper submission of claim means what you have to have complete set of records record means what where it is mentioned in the contract what time what clause have been altered okay client how the decision has been taken so everything has to be submitted that is called as a proper submission of the claim means what intent of the claim in between you are going to prepare the claim and here the submission of the claim after the submission what is the process obviously it is going to be analyzed by the other party analyzed by the other party later he will recommend something okay okay this much you are claiming no okay you come for negotiation that is what negotiation in the negotiation some intermediate rates or some intermediate remedies will be provided later final award okay we have settled for this one okay you can take this much money or you can extend this much time last one is what claim closure okay everything is settled now you can close that claim okay this is the detailed step by step process first is what intent second is preparation third is submission fourth is analysis recommendation negotiation awarding closure you can write it in your own words okay so like that you can go for the administration of claims how to approach the typical standard practices how to practice the writing of the claim this is very one uh, important it is mentioned here what is that in the you can see here preparation of the claims it is given preparation and presentation of the claim very very important from your exam point of view okay we have seen effects we have seen causes we have seen reasons now we are into the preparation of the claims so that part we are explaining here preparation <clears throat> how to go what is the approach for that one claim document must be simple means what all the clauses only up to the point should be mentioned claim document must explain the things to detail in detail it should be mentioned supporting photograph documents reports okay everything should be given claim document should include a summary at the bit uh, in the beginning as well as the last followed by factual narrative factual narrative means what uh, dates times cost money measurement so factual data should be given emphasize on the strongest claim means what finally how much you want okay that is called as a statement making that is called as statement making this much amount we are claiming that is called as a emphasize on the strongest point or the strongest claim or key facts what should be the next approach okay provide contractual and legal basis in the contract document where it is mentioned where it is mentioned how the claims can be taken that you have to give as a supporting document provide detailed and accurate cost and pricing data okay for that additional work or for that claim how much money easily how you are breaking up that one what is the material cost labor cost how you have came to this rate so you have to provide detailed and accurate cost or pricing that data so in that generally pricing three things will come no what are the things 
preliminary okay preliminary attendance loss of profit head office overhead whether it is accelerated work or disrupted work so under these headings you can give the breakup that is the meaning prolongation acceleration disruption what do you mean by prolongation if that work is extended means what two to three times if it is extended okay acceleration time of completion is reduced disruption whether in performing the uh, work some some disruption has taken place so under these three heads you can give the costing or pricing that is the meaning okay third is what highlight the highlight showcase and highlight the most persuasive documentary evidence means what if strike was there take the newspaper cuttings there okay some something you can give a pursue as you documentary evidence okay signed by the parties photographs newsletters okay consider including demonstrative evidence and expert report such as you can give what report such as graphs drawings charts photographs everything you can produce so these are some of the approaches approaches you can adapt okay next very very important what is that stages okay stages in preparation how the stage will be there so first is particulars will be given he will be contractor will be given particular such as the description of the work contract period dates okay extension of time granted this is the contractor particulars point of claim means what under which claim or clause he is going for that one okay so here what are the documents you need to give variation issuing failure of the architect to approve the drawing okay so like this you can uh, make a statement you can make a document like that so you are preparing a claim means what contractor needs to prepare all these things point of claim okay architect has not approved the drawing so that is why delay okay issuing of variation client has changed the specification and drawing so that is why we are <clears throat> making the claim so these two are what points of claim we are pointing these two things for claiming okay for like this stages and last last is what it should be followed up once you have submitted it should be followed up try to make a closure for that one try to make a closure for that now very important how to prepare in short you can explain here how to prepare in the preparation of the claim whatever may the party client or contractor let us say we are having a claim from the contractor side what are the points to be understood burden of proof what do you mean by burden of proof if contractor is claiming all the supporting document all the proof has to be done by contractor only has to be submitted by contractor only that is burden of proof means what the party which is going for claim has to take a burden of occupying the accumulating the proof proof such as documents signing letter reports everything basis of claim means what under which clause of the contract general conditions or special conditions okay so under which case on on what basis you are going for claim that is what point of claim it is nothing but point of claim importance of facts means what on that day what is the uh, what was the progress and what was the changes made by them so that is what importance of the facts supporting evidence such as signed by engineer in charge signed by the quality person somehow the signed documents should be kept that is called as supporting evidence or the next day in daily progress report you have mentioned this point you have mentioned this point and next is if all the things are there such as proof was proof is there basis you have no importance of fact evidence is everything is there you can go for drafting the claim you can go for drafting the claim last one after drafting and submitting you should prove the damage you should prove the prove the damage how to prove the damage you should go and sit in the meeting uh, make the client make the client to obey the damages have been already there and after proving you go for negotiation and uh, negotiation means what adjusting the claims okay client will give some amount contractor has to agree though this process is called as negotiation settlement so this is a preparation and submission and settlement this is called as preparation presentation and settlement and settlement you can say these are some of the steps so in detail only it is been uh, given here you can refer that one okay 
burden of proof okay everything has to be occupied by the burden basis importance of facts everything is given you can just have a refer so here evidence what are the things will come as evidence site records correspondence site meetings site diaries schedules payments claimed okay these are act as a facts or the evidences okay so you can go for so <clears throat> so generally claim contains three statements what are the three statements introduction if you are writing a claim a letter like this okay it contains introduction part ground on claim and substantiation substantiation means what monetary conversation introduction means what okay we are doing this type of work when we are performing all these works on this day these things this disruption has happened or this deviation was there so this is a introduction part so we are under this clause we are going to claim second is ground of claim means what a point of claim means what a late issue of the drawings a variation in this one okay like that you can go for grounds of claim substantiation in means what how much time additional time was there how much additional cost was bared by the contractor how much additional time is required how much additional cost is required so in three stages you can go for the claims okay you can go for the claims this is about the preparation preparation and the claim proving damage negotiation negotiation means what it's the last stage so you have to prepare for that one you have to take a meeting okay timing for the meeting to negotiate last one you have to have adopt a strategy okay and last one communication and bargaining has to be there to have a one in between rates okay this is the negotiation settlement so preparation after submitting everything claim you go for negotiation and negotiation means what the client person contractor person will sit for a meeting this meeting is called as negotiation settlement meeting in that the contractor will ask for a timing to go there strategy strategy means what first what point should be talked okay first what point second what so, so like that step by step the points will be <clears throat> spoken there and last one how the communication means what okay you can go for this one you can avoid this claim you can go only this much amount okay and bargaining will takes place bargaining means is nothing but settlement only okay finally one intermediary amount is settled or intermediately time extension is settled that will be obeyed by both the things and we call it as a closure of claim closure of claim and both parties will sign this one both parties will sign this one okay these are in detail points you can refer that one you can have a reference this one very important is what what are the causes okay what are the causes effects and how to prepare the claims how to prepare and submit the claims okay you can refer this one so these are all things you can easily refer 